Hello students. In the last video we showed you how to convert nice fractions into decimals and what we suggested there is if you know what the answer is because of your number sense just write it down otherwise um, convert your fraction to a different denominator and do it that way. Okay in this video we're going to look at what I call some useful fractions. So they're not nice ones. In other words I can't turn 3 easily into 10 or 100 by multiplying and I can't easily turn 8 into 10 or 100 by multiplying. But these are fractions that we use a lot and it's useful to be able to convert these to decimals really quickly. So what I'm going to suggest for all of these is you just learn these. So basically it's good, good knowledge to just have in your head. So if you need to convert 3 eighths to a decimal, you can just say, well, that's 0 0.375. Okay, let's go ahead and work out what the decimal conversions are for these. Well, one third, if you divide three into one using a calculator, you're going to get 0 0.33333 forever. So one third, as you probably know, as a decimal is 0 0.3 recurring which in Australia, we use a dot for that. If you're in the US, if you're in the US, you'd use a line rather than a dot. Now, once you know that one third is 0 0.3 recurring, then two thirds is 0 0.6 recurring. So if you didn't know those two things, learn them, they're worth knowing. Similarly, the eighths are probably a bit less common, but still worth knowing. So how are, we can, how are we going to convert 1 eighth to a decimal? Well, the way to think about it is that eighth is half of a quarter. Now a quarter I can convert to a decimal. That's 0 0.25. That's one of the nice ones. And then an eighth is just half of that. So what's half of 0 0.25? Well, if I turn that into 0 0.250, that's um, 250 thousandths. So half of that is 125 thousandths. Or on a calculator, just go 8 divide 1. So 1 eighth is 0 0.125. And I just think that's half of 0 0.25. So that's one that's worth learning. 1 eighth is 0 0.125. Now once you know that, you can work out what 3 eighths is just by multiplying that by 3. And 3 times 0 0.125 is 0 0.375. So once again, you can either memorize that or memorize just this one and then multiply by 3. Here you'd sort of say, well, 3 times 25 is 75, 3 times 1 is 3. And that's not too hard to do. Okay, I'd like you to work out um, 5 eighths and 7 eighths by multiplying 1 eighth by 5 and 7 respectively. Okay, here's what you should have come up with. If 1 eighth is 0 0.175, 5 eighths is 0 0.625 by multiplying that by 5. Alternatively, you could have said, well, 4 eighths is a half, so that's 0.5. One more eighth, I get 0.5 plus 0.125, and that adds to 0.625. But easiest way to do it is just memorize it or multiply that by 5. To get 7 eighths, well you could multiply that by 7 or you could say I'm going to take away 1 eighth from 1. So 1 minus 0 0.125 is 0 0.875. So all of these are useful fractions and therefore it's useful to be able to convert them quickly to a decimal. So my suggestion for these fractions is just learn the decimal conversions.